So it's arrived, we've got the Fiesta. This is a project for my daughter, as I mentioned before. Let's have a quick look around it and see what needs to be done. So the damage on the front is as anticipated and as was in the advert. It looks like the wishbone's collapsed. Um, I've got a replacement wishbone, replacement ball joint. I've also ordered, uh, I've got in my possession, the, the wing that needs to go on. Opinion on this still hasn't changed. That can all be flatted back and fixed, which is absolutely fine. The door, which I queried before, I think we've got away with that one. Doesn't appear to be any, there's a slight little bit of chipping on the door there, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to touch that in. Um, the annoying thing is, as I mentioned in the video a minute ago, is this additional, additional damage here is going to need to be filled and painted, and that wasn't in the adverts either. So, a bit annoying, but you win some, you lose some. Um, with regards to the condition of the rest of the car, all the bonnets good, there's no damage to the front bumper apart from that bottom valance which is easy enough to fix back on. Everything else is in keeping with the age of the car, it is a 2009, it's got relatively high miles on it, all the wheels look in good condition. Luckily there's no locking wheel nuts because I've got to get them ball joints and everything done. Have a look in the back. Let's grab the key. Well, we've got one key. Going to need to get another one of them created. No, my kids. They'll probably lock themselves out. So, just needs a good clean. It's well used on the inside, I think it's fair to say. If we have a look in the passenger side, dead locked. It's just filthy. Um, the gator on the gear stick needs to be replaced because that's all torn. I've ordered one of them, that should be here in a couple of days. Um, the seats just need a, th a thorough good clean and a bit of mould on the carpet which is delightful. Everything's just a mess. There's a match in there. <laughs> Carpets are filthy. The seats need a good shampoo in. So, there we go. So plan for today is, I oh, can't do a lot really because of the rain, but I'm going to rip that wheel off, um, get it down to the tyre shop and get them to replace the the tyre on that because we've got no spare either. And I believe that's the one that was considered to be damaged. Yeah, some damage on the rim there. So that's on the exterior of the rim, so we should be able to repair that. So it should be okay to fit a new new tyre. We also need to replace the arch liner by the looks of it as well. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with getting that wheel off. So we've got the wheel off, no damage on the inside of the wheel, which is good. The track rod's got a slight bend to it, so probably going to have to sort that out. The wishbone looks like that's pretty mangled. So hopefully replacing the wishbone, just straighten that all up. I think the, the strut itself looks pretty okay. Can't see any damage to the spring. So we'll get the new wishbone on and the new ball joint. Then hopefully we should be in a much better place. These brakes look very thin. <laughs> Pretty much metal on metal, so we need to get a pet set of pads in there as well. We'll check the rears out as well. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Look at that look. Stunning. This wheel, as you've seen, absolutely knackered. I'm careful what I say here. Fubar, I think we'll go for Fubar. So obviously the guy noticed there's a bit of damage to the, the inner rim and we put it on the balancing machine and uh, well, you've seen the play it was in it. So this is not repairable. Well, it's not, it's not usable because of that flat there at the minute. However, um, I've used the guys quite a few times over at Wheelmania and they've just opened a refurb shop over in Brum. So, what I'm going to do is pop this over and see if there's anything they can do on their machine to straighten it out. In the meantime, I've ordered a new alloy, so the 17 inch Ford Ctec S Snowflake Alloys. So, I managed to get it for about 90 quid delivered, so that should be here in the next couple of days. So, we'll have a, a tyre chucked on that, and if we can get this one repaired, refurbed, then that'll become the spare then because we haven't got a spare in the boot. Right, I've not shown you the engine yet, so let's have a look at the engine. It's absolutely delightful. <laughs> look at the insides, bud. Oh, 
only we'd done 4D, you could see, you could, you could smell it. It's easy fixable though. I don't think this. I don't think you'd really class this car as actually being taken care of. <laughs> but engine in itself, if we have a look at the turbo, kind of pre-turbo, hell of a lot of oil, a lot, a lot of oil. Leaks all the way down there onto the turbo actuator. Um, that says to me the PCV has failed, which is this bad boy here. And then that, that PCV valve controls the releases of pressure from the head back through into the air system. Um, we had a massive buildup of oil on the videos. If you check them out, I'll tag them in the top um, on the Mercedes where I thought the PCV had failed due to the amount of oil that collected in the intercooler. But luckily on these, it's just a very, very cheap sub five quid rubber diaphragm that goes in there. So I'll get one of them on order. We'll get all this pipe work stripped out from the air box and give that a full degrease. Um, what I'll do as well, I'll drop the heat shields off the turbo in another episode and we'll check the turbine as well, just to make sure there's no play in the shaft. Um, because what we don't want is a turbo failure because uh, these engines are renowned for running away if the turbo fails. So, onwards and upwards, that's for another day. One where I'm not absolutely full of cold and it's freaking freezing. Anyway, let's get that shoved back under so we don't crush myself. Right, so on these there is a nut right round, I want to get down easy enough to see it right round here a bolt that goes through to hold the ball joint on and you can see just how badly damaged that wishbone is now from this at this angle uh, so we've got to get that bolt undone try and release the pinch on this knock the ball joint out um, and then there's another I'm hoping you can see this, there's another bolt there, we've got a drop out, no sorry that's not the one, that's the subframe bolt, this bolt here, um, and then there's another bolt round the side here, just get round this way so we can have a look, that bolt there, it's got to be dropped out, um, no guarantees with this because they can be absolute bloody nightmares, especially when the wishbone has been bent up, so we'll see how we go, I might have to do it off camera, but I'll try my hardest to get it done on camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got two sockets on, 13, 15. Got that going. Not really to hold this side to be honest, it's not turning at the minute. And then loosen that off there. What we need to do then is get the extension bar, come around and get on the end of the thread there. Hopefully you can see that. And try and knock that bolt through. memory, I don't think this is actually threaded through. I think it's just a case of hammering it through. Hmm. 
So I've just blasted everything down with some WD-40 to try and loosen everything up. I think there's that much tension due to that twisted wishbone. I can't knock the bolt back. Come on, mofo. There's a bit off that. That's the old manual method. Right, so we've well and truly lost the light today. So um, I've got the back two bolts out for the wishbone so that I'll get a crowbar on it tomorrow. Hopefully that should just pop out. Um, I've got to put a solution together to sort that bolt out at the front just behind the hub um, because it's just not shifting, it's not moving. I've tried hammering it out and the bolt is just bending. So um, in theory, it should just jump the threads or wreck the threads and, and the bolt comes out and we just replace the bolt then. Um, I've managed to get this wing off, not straightforward at all. So there's a bolt up here, there's another bolt there, and then there's three bolts over here. All 10 mil that you've got to get to. You can see where the bolt is here, actually. Um, but then it's got a weird bit on the, um, the arch itself, which hooks up here behind this window and around a little kind of like um, metal knob thing. So really not easy that. Um, but yeah, next time we'll chuck the new wishbone on. That should pull that suspension strut completely straight. We should have the new wheel, which I'll go get a tire on. And then we should have a nice straight wheel and go and give, give it a test drive and make sure everything's um, working as it should do. Um, obviously to get the wing off, I've had to drop the light out. So we'll refix that light back in. <laughs> Um, I've got to drop the front bumper off anyway because I've got to flat all this back and spray it all in which obviously I'm not going to do on the car but minimal damage to that door it's literally that so I've got a bit of colour left over I'll just touch that in with a brush and then it's over to take care of this side here um, as well as doing that I've got to rip all the interior out it's the wrong time of year to, to shampoo stuff and get it dry so Seats are coming out, carpet's coming out, everything's going to be gutted. So, thanks for watching guys, catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. Cheers.